Alright, hey everyone, this is Charlie with The Gaming Guys, and today I have a World Edit Toolbox for you, um, which deals with some of the more helpful commands in the World Edit Toolkit, um, which are commands that have to do with replication. Um, in Minecraft, especially when building um, larger builds, what I find is that um, a lot of just building in general has to do with replication and patterns. Um, and these tools, I think, really speed up processes like mega builds and stuff like that um, because uh, no one likes you know no one likes to build the same thing over and over again for like a kajillion times um, and these are really really helpful um, for that so let's get right into it um, we're gonna be dealing with the stack commands today um, but also copy and paste commands um, because they're all very very helpful um, uh -oh. so as you can see I just selected this little bit of road um, and I'm going to type in slash slash stack and I'm going to face in the direction that I want to um, replicate. I'm going to type in three because that's many, how many times I want to replicate. And as you can see, um, it's kind of iterated over itself one, two, three times. I'm not sure if iterated is the right word. Um, it's replicated itself um, three times directly um, in front of itself. And I can also face the other direction and do it that way too. Um, and it will work and um, it looks pretty cool. And so it's a really easy way to generate a road. Um, but this works for tons of things. It works in three dimensions, um, so it can work with something very similar, like a bridge. Um, oh, okay, there we go. Um, stack four. As you can see, uh, the bridge is replicated over itself and completed itself. Um, it works with things like um, roofs. This is super helpful with um, big roofs. Um, and um, as you can see, actually, with this example, if I type in stack ten. Um, as you can see, it's cut off that thing, which I really like, the, the filling. Um, so I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to type in gmask air, and then I'm going to type in stack 10. Um, and as you can see, it's done it successfully, but it's only changed air blocks, so um, that's really good. Make sure you turn off gmask, or else you won't be able to do um, anything else for a while. <laughs> um, and then, But it also works with complicated floor, pl floor plans. Um, as you can see, this building... Um, has a weird shape, um, but if I type in stack seven up, seven up, um, then as you can see, it's completed itself, and I can add the uh, the door um, manually. And um, but it also works with really complex things if you're smart about it, um, such as spiral staircases. Um, so let's highlight this, um, and we can type in stack uh, two up. And as you can see, that spiral staircase has completed itself, and we now have a, a much more impressive thing than it really is. Um, so those are the stack commands. As you can see, that was really quick, um, just a bunch of examples for them. But um, they're really, really helpful. You can stack in any direction, um, up, down, east, west. Um, and it's, it's just very, very helpful commands. Um, next up is the copy commands. Copy paste is something on computers which are is so simple, such a simple idea. But in World Edit, it's pretty complex. Um, so as you can see, I want to copy paste this um, weird thing that I built. Um, but so I've selected it, and um, now I'm gonna. I want to copy it, but I can't just copy it. I have to decide on something very important, which is where I want to type in the command. Um, if I type it in here, copy, um, it'll say blocks copied, and I'll be like, Yay, my blocks are copied. But when you type in paste, um, it's going to appear relative to where you copied it. So um, I guess an easy way of saying that is that if I float down into the center of it and I type in copy, um, when I type in paste, it will appear around me. Um, if I go here and type in slash slash copy, when I go over here, um, it will paste in front of me, which is actually what I want it to do. Um, so I'm going to type in right here, go to copy, and then I'm going to paste it right here. Oh my gosh, what was that? Alright, so there you go, I've copied and pasted it. It's the exact same thing. But I actually want it to mirror each other um, when it's right next to it. So um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to break that block right there. I'm going to go here, line it up uh, somewhat correctly. Um, and I'm going to type in flip. Oh, I have to. F you have to face um, east or west when you type in slash, slash flip. And then I can paste it again. And as you can see, it has mirrored itself. Um, these are just kind of flipped over, um, but I can also do mm, rotations. So if I type in rotate 90, um, it will rotate 90 degrees. Um, and as you can see, when I paste it, pastes to my right. 
So that's just some of the paste commands. Um, they're really simple once you get the hang of it, um, but it takes a little bit of playing around with. Um, and then the stack commands works for easy things like this, more complicated things like that, uh, rooftops, floor plans, and spiral staircases, um, really anything that needs to replicate it, um, itself uh, right away. So those are some helpful commands that have to do with replication. Um, they're by far the most helpful, in my opinion, um, especially when it comes to some of the larger builds that I work on. So that is that, and I hope you guys all have a good day. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving yesterday. Um, I want to remind you to rate, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like it if you liked the video, because that would make sense, right? Um, and leave a comment with any suggestions. Um, if you're having trouble with anything, um, leave a comment, because I don't really know what to do all the time, and um, if you leave a comment, then I know what to do. So um, again, this is Charlie from The Gaming Guys, and um, all right, see you later.